The Tigers had every reason to feel confident against Port Adelaide following their triumph over Essendon in last week's drink time at the G. They faced a Port Adelaide side languishing on the bottom of the ladder in a clash that was already proving challenging in Darwin with the light tower going down. Jay Schultz tried to make the most of that with an early enterprising mark. Let it talk for itself. Oh, beautiful mark, Ooh. Schultz. He then went on to score the opening goal. Surely Schultz can break the deadlock. Oh, yeah. Four points to two. He kicks the first goal of the night. Richmond replied through Tyron Vickery in a low-scoring first term that gave Port a slight two-point lead. Over the top, it beats everyone. Going back, Vickery for the answering goal as quick as you like. How about that? With the other light tower threatening to go down, Cameron O'Shea gave the power a slight boost. A chance here, it's a centering kick on the European Cup final. While a great kick from Matt White allowed Jake King to reply. Shepard from Miller allows White to come through, dribbles it along the ground, King gets back at his left, he's a goal kicker this year and he continues in that vein. The Tigers forward starting to make an impact. Robin Nahas made it look easy in the slippery conditions. One bounce, runs inside 50. Nahas, you little beauty. With Richmond starting to dominate, Port's leading goal kicker Robbie Gray reduced the margin to three. Got rid of Batchelor, over the back for Gray, Port Adelaide get their third. The Tigers star goal kicker replied with a not so pretty grab inside the forward 50. Kick it to the top of the square, one of us will mark it. And it's Rewald who does. He slotted it through with ease to give Richmond a nine-point lead at half-time. Daniel Pearce found some space. The forwards continued his good work to gift Gray his second. Over the back to Schultz. Gray's coming. Gray kept going. He's going to get it eventually for Modlop. Well done, Robbie Gray. It's his second goal. The power added another two. Ball and late three in a row. And all of a sudden, a nine-point deficit had turned into a nine-point lead. With the Tigers under siege, Daniel Jackson went solo against the flow. From there, they went goal for goal. Gets it over to Broadbent, and Broadbent answers quickly for Port Adelaide. Travis Boke among Port's best, and this is why. Breaks away. Wonderful acceleration from the contest. Oh. Travis Boke. Oh, that is the goal of the night. And if you thought that was good, wait till you see Gray's third. Robbie Gray, that is an absolute beauty from him. He's got three. With power breaking away, Richmond's Sean Grigg pulled one back to cut Port's lead to 11 at three-quarter time. Needs it to curl back. Proved this wrong. Oh, wonderful finish by Grigg. Justin Westhoff maintained clean hands despite copping a knock. And it paid dividends, giving Port its biggest margin of the game. High and straight. That is a huge goal. Richmond not helping the cause, a turnover setting up Schultz's third. Oh, this is just a real chance here, Port Adelaide. Pierce chips over the top. Well, turnovers can kill you. Simon Phillips put power in the box seat. Phillips oh, and kicks a very important goal. Revolt got his second, but with the clock ticking, an upset was on the cards. That was pretty much complete when Gray slotted his fourth. Hey, 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 Robbie Gray. He's got four goals. Two late goals, not enough for the Tigers. Port Adelaide claiming just its second win of the season and putting a dent in Richmond's top eight aspirations. Daniela Rintilli, Big Pond Sport.